New York is dangerous. New York, you can't walk through this place. You can't go over here because it's so bad. It's so this. Don't listen to them, okay? Everywhere got a danger. Wherever you live, any state, any city, it's always a bad part. You just got to know how to get around that. And I'm going to help y'all out because you're trying to get to the NY, the NYC. I got you. I got you. Okay. So the first thing, you might not want to hear this, but you got to put yourself in danger, if that makes sense. Not in danger, but you got to know what you're working with. I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain. You need to go on the trains to know which train you don't like. You kind of need to walk around the neighborhoods to know, okay, I need to avoid this neighborhood. I don't, y'all do not need to walk that neighborhood during the night time and you never been through this neighborhood before, but you just need to go. No, you need to go during the good time, have some pepper spray, a taser on you or whatever. Walk through the neighborhood and see if you like it. I can't tell you which neighborhood is the best, which which neighborhood is the safety, safest. I can't tell you that because everybody have their own preferences and triggers. New York is full of people of, you see business people in one neighborhood, people that look athletic in another one, people that's like fashion. And yeah, just a whole, whole variety of just like different people and like aesthetics and stuff like that. And sometimes that could be triggers for other people. So I can't tell you like, oh, live in this neighborhood, live in that neighborhood. Cause you might, you might have something in your past with your father or something that was a businessman. And I tell you, go to this neighborhood or hop on this train. And now you, you, you don't feel right. You don't feel, even though it's safe and stuff, but you don't feel good. And it's like, oh, you, your father might be a businessman, was a businessman. Y'all had, you had a traumatic experience or you just don't really like your father. And now I tell you, go to this neighborhood and hop on this train. Cause these are the best. And now even though it's the safest, you're not feeling the best or even your ex was like an athletic person, super athletic person. I say, live in this neighborhood or go through these neighborhoods. These are the best. And now you, it's safe, but now you feel uncomfortable. You don't feel right. It's something in your subconscious that, that's not right. So I say for y'all, you need to put yourself in them environments. Like you need to go see what's good and what's bad. I can't really tell you like what's good and what's bad. I'm gonna keep you like a pepper spray. Do not be on your phone. If you want to play music, you know, to make sure you comfort, I know. Have it on like low, a good, good volume. The light keep falling. The light keep falling. So next, I would say never go to environment, to an environment that you never been before. At night or whenever, like if it's nighttime and you never been there before, do not go. Do not take, take the way you know, take the way that's, I know it might be the longer route, but it, it's better to be safe than sorry. Go the route you know, go through the neighborhoods you know, instead of, oh, this is a shortcut, this will get me there. No, no, don't even, don't even try it. Don't even, I know some of this is like common sense, but sometimes it's like, you think like, oh, I'm tired. I'm just take this way. And that could be the time. That could be the day. No, you need to make sure you stay in safe and go the way you know. Go where you go where you know, and go where it's the safest and makes you the most comfortable. Don't don't try to switch off because you're tired of this and that. No, that's that's where people mess up. They try to do stuff that they they haven't done before. What you switching up for? I know you're tired. Just go ahead and do what you gotta do. Or take take a Lyft or Uber or something to the place you need to go. Somebody's cat calling you, trying to talk to you. You say no and walk away and keep walking away. Don't try to talk, say, you know, just kindly say, no, I'm, I'm good, I'm good, and just go. Go, don't, don't be looking, don't be trying to explain nothing. Say, no, I'm good, it's hard. Just keep walking, okay? Keep walking, you don't have, you don't have nothing to explain for real. You just keep going, because once you, once you keep talking to somebody, that's gonna make somebody think they have more of a chance to, you know, say something back and like convince you. You say no and walk. You just walk, okay? Just go, that's it. That's it, okay? And honestly, I know I told y'all I wouldn't recommend y'all where to live, but if you're not fully invested in living in New York because you hear how dangerous it is or this and that, yada, yada, live in Jersey, live in Jersey, close to New York, like live in like Jersey City, Hoboken, all that. Live over there, live over there because that's close 
you'll still be able to, you're like 20 minutes away from New York. You're experience, you're still experiencing everything. Don't let anybody tell you, oh, you live in Jersey. That's not really New York. You're right there. That's like, there go my, there go my light again. There go my light. That's like, I live with my mom, but since she got to work, she dropped me off at my grandma's house. So now I experience both places. I'm not, I probably don't live with my grandma, but I'm always with my grandma. I know the neighborhood at my grandma's house. I know my friends are at, you know, I have friends at my grandma's house and I got friends at my mom's house. That's how it would be. And I think if you're not fully invested in going into New York, living in New York, Jersey might be the best spot for you. You can still keep your car. It's more, I think it's, it's more cleaner. The paths are more cleaner. Everything is, I'll say it's better. And you get more bang for your buck. Honestly, we, you still, you'll, you'll still, you know, pay a pretty penny for some, something that's not that big. But it is way, way bigger than if you was to pay for it in New York. So I'll say live in Jersey City. And that's all I got for you. Y'all got this. Y'all got this. I'm letting you know you got this.